Going back to this whole matter of what you think government can do, uh, let's explore that a bit more. Because if you were governor, uh, you're, luckily you're in politics, what, what else would you do? Uh, because we've been told that the way they fight, they, they, they hit and run, they strike and run, they operate like guerrillas. And so if they are bent on causing chaos, there's very little that can be done unless the fundamental aspect of, of this whole wahala can be addressed. Absolutely, uh, Yuri. The government of Kaduna State woke up maybe late in the day. Like I said, from 2014, 2015, 2016, up to 2017, when we raised alarm about the incessant happenings, especially in southern Kaduna, the government had its own narrative that it, it insisted on pushing around the globe. And it kept saying that it was a communal or religious fight. So at different moments, government officials would deny the number of casualties. Government, particularly the governor himself, will threaten religious leaders like uh, the bishops who said they were responsible for the killings because they are getting foreign aid from uh, foreign organizations when their people are killed and when churches are attacked. He said that he was going to prosecute church leaders that they have identified who are benefiting from the killings. Our traditional rulers were messed up. All leaders of thought that could intervene in anything were told to their face that they were the percussors and the persons responsible for the killings. Mm. If at the time we raised alarm, government had been as proactive as it now wanted to be, when it now said enough is enough. We are not going to discuss with bandits or terrorists who are going to kill them. Government delidalied until the thing spread. Went to Benungwari, went to Giwa, went to Igavi. Zaria environments were attacked. People in Shika up to this moment are living in fear. Igabi, local government, several communities have been sacked. People have been made hostages. And on the highways from Zaria to Kaduna, it's not safe too. Okay. So let me bring in Chidi, who is calling in from Kaduna, uh, from Kafanchan. Uh, good morning, Chidi. Good morning, Uncle Yari. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Barrister Mark Jacob. And the uh, other guests. Yeah, uh, Danjima, Siriki. As a matter of fact, the security uh, in implication in Kaduna State is indeed a grim one at that at that and um, i've been listening with keen interest the discussion that the trial of you are making now it is at the doorstep of the government to take a step further to really find out where this quantum of insecurity is coming from and the very best way to handle it because it is really causing a situation where the security personnel themselves are not left out. Indeed, nobody is safe. No road is safe. No household, either in Kaduna, Zaria, Kapanchan, and in fact elsewhere in Kaduna State, is no longer safe. The road is not safe. The railways are not safe. And in fact, there is no security. I know it is not only here in Kaduna State. But I want the government at all levels and every other stakeholder to put all their hands together, put resources together, do what is needful in order to stem this insecurity. Thank you very much, and God bless Nigeria. Thank you very much, uh, Chidi, for calling in. Uh, just to say here, uh, like yesterday, we cut away from the program, had to go for a live uh, event in uh, uh, Port Harcourt. We will we'll be doing the same, but we're still, we're still here. Uh, uh, as soon as... Um, you know, um, they are already in Kaduna. We will cut away, and that means that Nigerian viewers might not be seeing us, will not be seeing us, uh, but diaspora uh, will continue. And in case you have one of those giant dishes, uh, then you could also be joining us. I don't know how Mazi Okorafo does it. Sometimes when we're on live, uh, you, you hear Mazi Okorafo calling in. Okay, but back to our, our guests, um, uh, Comrade Danjima Siriki and uh, Barrister Mark uh, Jacob. Uh, to you, uh, Danjuma, the, it's not a hopeless situation. 
uh, I imagine. No, that otherwise the, the, we, we can't be hopeless. Uh, but I've heard that you are critical. In fact, you are critical. Both of you are critical of the efforts and indeed the attitude. Indeed, dare I say it, the sincerity of government. Now, that's a heavy charge, Dan Juma. Uh, why, why, why would you go as far as, you know, allege that uh, government is not being sincere in its prosecution of this war against bandits? Uh, uh, Uncle Yori, uh, right from yesterday when I heard that uh, they are going, they will, you will be bringing a government official to join us on this discussion. I know that it will be very difficult for any government official to agree to join. Because just like I said, they are not serious. They take these issues with kids' gloves. They just believe it's for you to just come to the media and twist uh, this real situation on ground, and you think everybody should clap for you and take it hula and sinker. What government have been doing in Kaduna State? Every keen watcher and observer of happening in Kaduna State knows that the government is actually not serious. The government is only out to control the narrative. The government is only out to uh, put its own agenda the way it wants it to be viewed and perceived by the people. Which, which the government is, are only indeed, bent on intimidating indeed, you and got silencing it right. the people. You, you, got, than, you, you got it right well, well, in that part where you said you thought there might be a difficulty because, uh, believe me, we tried. We do want to hear from the government authorities there. Uh, we who, know them. We know them very well. well we, are, we are together with them on a daily basis. So what I'm trying to say here, uh, Uncle Yuri, whenever a government is doing well, the citizens will applaud them. Citizens are not senseless. Citizens are responsible people. There's no how you'll be doing well or you'll be taking practical steps to address some of the challenges that citizens encounter every day. And you think majority of the citizens will not applaud you. Okay? You, and just like we say, uh, I was saying, we expect to see government embarked on a lot of intelligence gathering to take proactive steps to curb the situation today. We're talking about drones as one of the major technology that have been introduced to the security system. In Kaduna State here, the purchase of drone and usage of drone are mere propaganda. They have installed this drone in some places in the city center. But for once, we have never seen what that drone installation uh, procurement have ever achieved. Likewise, today, what stops government in fabricating a drone that is like a bird that you, you can send to the bushes to go and give you precise locations of these uh, uh, bandits. You go around, uh, surround them, well, kill those you can kill, arrest those you can I arrest, you, and nip this thing in the board. I, I well, hear you, sir. Every day, 